Good day, everybody. It is Saturday, May the 6th, 2023. And this is Michelle with Michelle Okerson Vlog. And uh, this is your daily devotional from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Scripture references are from a New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. <clears throat> Over on the other channel, Sweet Home Heaven, I do one chapter a day from my um, New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. But I've been kind of, like, if it's the excerpts in there, my Bible has a lot of excerpts, and it also gives prefaces to the books. So, <clears throat> um, if it's lengthy, I've been divided into two parts because people are more apt to listen to a video if it's five minutes or less, especially if it's three minutes or less. So, before I get started, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, be notified when I post a video. And I just want to say this, guys, we are truly blessed. We really are in a world of, of all of evil running amok and, you know, all this stuff happening. If you can just put all that aside and really look at uh, what God is doing in this country and throughout the world, we truly are blessed. We really are. And so I choose to go about my day with a, on a positive note. <clears throat> and today... It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful today, today here in Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia Beach. All right, let's get going here. Saturday, May the 6th, 2023. Do not search for security in the world you inhabit. You tend to make mental checklists of things you need to do in order to gain control of your life. If only, I do that all the time. If only you could check everything off your list. You can relax and be at peace, but the, but the more you work to accomplish that goal, the more things crop up on your list. True. The harder you try, the more frustrated you become. Yeah. There is a better way to find security in this life. Instead of scrutinizing your checklist, focus your attention on my presence with you. This continual contact with me will keep you in my peace. Moreover, I will help you sort out what is important and what is not. What needs to be done now and what does not. Fix your eyes on what is seen, your circumstances, <clears throat> but on what is unseen, <clears throat> my presence. No, fix your eyes not on what is seen, your circumstances, but on what is unseen, my presence. Yes, guys, the victory in overcoming the things and the circumstances that you're going through or your trials and your tribulations. I'm just going to give you a little bit of what I've learned in my, throughout the years. Is to praise God in the good and the bad. And I know it's hard to praise Him whenever we're going through stuff and, and you're just you're confused. You don't know what to do. You may be hurting, you know, physically or emotionally. Uh, or you may be worried about, a, you know, a child or <clears throat> a loved one. <clears throat> but... When we go to God with something instead of asking him and we say we, we give him the praise for the trial that we're going through and for him being faithful to answer, he honors that. Don't think he does he doesn't because he does. But see that's the the devil wants you to go to him and say, you know, can you do this? Can you do that? Cuz so then later he can say, well, you know, he isn't doing anything for you. you still, the problem's still there. So you overcome that by praising God for the situation, and it sends Satan running. I promise you. Okay, so Isaiah 26.3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Amen. And then 2 Corinthians 4.18. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary. Guys, grasp what he's saying. The things that are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So all this stuff going on within our country, this is, is temporary. Because in the end, God has the final say. And, and his will is not thwarted by our, our, our inability to do or, or overdo. Okay. Prayer of salvation is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. All right. And then Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You want to listen, you want to go over to Sweet Home Heaven. You want to hear the, stay with the video till I'm done reading. The, la, the last part of it will be the excerpt for Hebrews uh, chapter 2. And you want to hear this one. It, it's really good. All right, guys. So see you over on Sweet Home Heaven. If not, then y'all have a blessed Saturday. Love y'all. Bye-bye.